Hi friends, Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead. If you didn't check out the last video, you may wanna go watch that one first before you watch this one because it's all about what this is. Now in that video, we talked about identifying wild turkey tail mushroom and harvesting it. And we talked about some things that we're gonna do with it and the plans for it on our farm. So if you wanna hear all of that video, definitely go check that one out. I'll stick it down in the description box for you to, to go click on that. Uh, but I brought it home and by the time I got home, I got my family all settled, got home animal chores done and everything. It was dark. I didn't have the light anymore to continue to film. Obviously I processed it about halfway. Well, it's probably about 75%. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that on camera. But basically what I did is I took that wild mushroom and I started working with it right away because mushrooms, especially thin mushrooms, can start drying out right away. And we want to use them um, as fresh as possible to get the maximum medicinal potency out of them. So what I did is I cut off kind of the end parts and I actually have them saved in my fridge because I want to attempt to inoculate uh, some down logs that we have. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do another video on that to see how, how it works and just kind of follow the process. So I put them in the pressure cooker, covered them with about two-ish inches of water and I pressure cooked them for 45 minutes. You can do this on the stove, but that takes hours and I did not have time or the desire to babysit that into the evening hours. So pressure cooker it was, and it worked beautifully. So after that, I took out my blender and I put the entire concoction into the blender, blended it up into what looked like, I don't know, like baby food or honestly <laughs> looked like cat vomit to me. I <laughs> thought to be totally honest, totally looked like cat puke. Uh, and I put it on dehydrator trays. Now I have this commercial charred dehydrator. I love it. I personal opinion, it blows Excalibur out of the water and it is uh, more space and less money, but it does not come with the nice little trays that Excalibur comes with. So I use parchment paper and it works perfectly fine. And it works better than any dehydrator that I've ever had. It was super fast. I got this entire thing done in eight hours on 95 degrees. It was beautiful. Uh, what I really like about this one over say something like an Excalibur is it has more space in it. Yes, it has definitely a larger footprint on your counter, but when it has more space, it's easier for air to circulate. So the drawing times are a little bit less is what I'm finding, actually significantly less. Because when I watched some videos of people doing this exact same thing, uh, it was taking them more than 24 hours to dehydrate theirs. And mine was done in eight, so there's that. But I just poured it on the parchment in super thin layers, kind of like you would for like fruit leather or something like that. And this is what I ended up with. So now we are going to take these and put it back in the blender and pulverize it into a powder. So what we are looking to do is turn this into a tincture. Now my husband, I'm gonna kind of put this in my lap while I'm working and talking to you. My husband really wants to try this turkey tail in his coffee. So I'm gonna save a little bit of the powder for him to be able to do that. He likes a, a, a black coffee, a strong black coffee. And um, he said he wouldn't mind some like, you know, earthy mushroom flavor in there. So we're going to do that for him and see how he likes it. If it's something that he likes, then uh, maybe I will see about making more of this for him. This mushroom, like I said, was wild harvested. So it wasn't like, you know, we can just grow more. We have to inoculate logs and it takes some time. Turkey tail has quite the season. If you want to harvest it, definitely go check out the video for the details, but it has an extremely long season. And I don't think I mentioned this in that video. I should have. It grows basically from like late spring until like now it's still it's still out there it's january and it's still out there but that's because we don't have a whole bunch of snow and ice and super super cold weather winter i don't know if it's showing up this year but it's not here yet we have plenty of mild weather for it to still continue to thrive uh, so i could probably get another turkey tail harvest if i wanted to this year i might we might we'll see if we have time for it before winter shows up the primary reason i wanted to tincture this is because uh i can get more use out of it in a tincture than i can in a powder now in a powder i could add this like i said to my husband's coffee he wanted to try that and my cat is going nuts so if you hear meowing 
and the occasional cat feet running all over the place. He's just, it's crazy hour. All right, so here we go. Uh, I want to, I could take this powder and I could put it into soups. I can put it into stews. Uh, we could just add it to smoothies, to my husband's coffee. But what I want to do is tincture it because when you tincture, you are making a more concentrated uh, medicinal preparation. So if I do that, it will take less of it for us to get the benefits and looking at dosages and things like that, it's gonna help us last longer and let more of us be able to utilize it uh, and see how it works for us. Okay, so here we are. This is gonna be super dusty because I blended it. See, woo, look at all that dust. And while fabulous benefits here, you never wanna breathe in your herb dust at all because that can be an irritant to you. <laughs> so don't do that. All right, so I have a few jars here because I wasn't sure exactly how much I was going to need. And I have my stainless steel funnel. So what I'm gonna do is just do like a 50-50 mix here from what I have read. This is what we're going for. Probably could have done this in a gallon jar or a half gallon jar. Like half would be here. So we're a little under half because this is what I have. So it may not be exactly what it should be, but I think it's gonna be close enough for our family's purposes. So now I have got my vodka and we are just gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this up. And this is going to sit on the apothecary shelf in a nice cool dark place for I'm gonna say um, probably eight weeks I think I'm gonna give it eight weeks because normally with mushrooms it's gonna be longer even though this has been like dehydrated and pulverized and it's now very fine and it doesn't have to get through what other barks seeds berries things like that would need that longer um, tincture time i am going to just go ahead and give it the eight weeks it's not going to hurt it to go a little bit longer so we're going to just kind of err on the side of caution especially since we have a little bit less in here i want to make sure that i can pull all of the properties out um, i gotta get more vodka so let's talk about the benefits and some of the properties of turkey tail mushroom turkey tail is one of the most studied mushroom that there is. Um, it has been, there's been a lot of publications out. There's been a lot of studies done on it, specifically about its ability to help um, cancer patients with specific types of cancer. It is very helpful for um, boosting the immune system. So what they look at it specifically for in the studies that I've read is um, prostate cancer was the big one that I read the most about. There were other cancers that were mentioned, but prostate cancer had the most information in the studies that I read. And what happens is when someone is undergoing chemotherapy or radiation, it depletes their immune system, especially with chemotherapy. It Chemo goes after all of the cells. If, you, if you're not familiar with chemo, it goes after all of the cells to kill everything. It comes in and it just like wipes the slate clean. That is the, that's the goal because it can't differentiate between a cancer cell and a healthy cell. So it just kills everything. So in doing that, it completely depletes the body of its, um, of its immune system. So turkey tail is super helpful in rebuilding a healthy immune system. So my big curiosity, what led me to turkey tail was its abilities to help immune diseases. So autoimmune diseases, immune issues. So I was really hesitant for a while to dive into this because everything that I read said immune stimulating. And you know, I have an autoimmune disease. I am not going to be taking an immune stimulating anything. I don't want to take that because my immune system is already going crazy. I don't need to add to the craziness here. So that was a reason that I said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to mess with that. I don't need immune stimulation. I need immune modulation. Well, then I came across something real interesting that talked about turkey tail's immune modulating properties. 
So I dug deeper and I found that this could actually be something that could be incredibly helpful for me. Now it looks like this one has a lot more, but it doesn't. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Probably just the way it's settling. Yeah, they're about the same. And it's gonna plump back up too because it was dehydrated and now I've just added liquid to it. So it's gonna plump back up some. So with that immune modulation, what I'm hoping to see in my body is a more healthy balance in my immune system. And how I'm gonna judge that is basically by when I get sick. If I get sick now, it takes me months to get over something. What takes people five days will take me a bare minimum of five weeks. Uh, could take me 10 weeks. It could take me months and months. You know, when I had COVID, it took me the better part of 2023 to get better. So I really would like to fix that so that if I get sick, I don't have to be scared about getting sick. I don't have to be nervous. We don't have to avoid the world during peak sickness. Uh, and if we get something, it's not as big a deal and mom can bounce back and move on with life. It's not something that's going to take me out for an entire season and then we can't get anything accomplished. That's been the biggest issue with me for my autoimmune disease is uh, the time that it takes away from me. It's very, very frustrating. So um, my hope in trying to work with medicinal mushrooms is that this could be part of the key to helping me with my problems. So one of the amazing things that is packed inside of turkey tail is a bunch of beta glucans. And beta glucans are a type of fiber that is amazing for lowering anxiety and depression. So this is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful supplement to add to mental health. Of course, you wanna double check to make sure that there are any contraindications. Of course, if you're allergic to mushrooms, you may wanna think twice about using it. Uh, if you have any kind of sensitivity, to mushrooms and fungi and things, definitely double check with your uh, holistic practitioner or an herbalist that you are working close with or possibly your doctor if your doctor knows this stuff uh, to see if this is something that you can dive into. It might be a wonderful addition, definitely not a replacement for your mental health medication. So check into that yourself. Every case is gonna be different. I do not know the ins and outs in every pharmaceutical and every medication, so you're gonna have to do that research for yourself. It also is super high in anti-inflammatory properties. And that is another reason why I love it so much, uh, where I love the potential of it because I haven't taken this yet. So inflammation is natural in people. You need to have a level of inflammation in your body. If you had absolutely zero inflammation in your body, you could have some other issues. Inflammation is our body's way of protecting itself um, in certain situations. And when you have an illness, part of the immune system's response is to cause inflammation in order to heal you. So inflammation is important, but in my kind of situation where I have an abundance of inflammation, uh, it causes the opposite effect. It wreaks havoc in my body. This is immune modulatory. So it is going to modulate the immune system means that it's going to balance it. So if your immune system is high, it's gonna bring it back low. If your immune system is low, it's gonna bring it back high or back to normal. So you, it wants to achieve homeostasis is what this wants to do. With immune modulation, that's what we're trying to achieve is balance, homeostasis, your immune system to be where it's supposed to be. So with anti-inflammatory and immune modulatory properties, in my brain, I think, hmm, this could be very helpful with a totally out of whack immune system from autoimmune disease. So that's why I decided it, it's piqued my curiosity. I wanna give it a try. And it's also got neuroprotective properties. So a lot of mushrooms I'm finding, the ones that I'm really diving into right now are turkey tail and lion's mane. And the neuroprotective properties, the neurological properties, the nervous system benefits to medicinal mushrooms are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys know if you've been following me for a good long while that I do have one child that has some pretty severe nervous system issues, including Tourette's. And we just started him on a protocol with lion's mane. So we're gonna see how that goes and how that works for him because when it comes to certain nervous system disorders like Tourette's, there's no real treatment for it. It's completely involuntary. You have no control over it. Trying to control tics is an incredibly painful thing. It causes him physical pain if he's trying not to tick. And then there can be things that set off his tics and things that will flare it, like growth spurts. Um, illness settles it down, but then when he comes out of illness, then it's way worse. It's like his body's like making up for lost time or something. So it's it can be very disruptive and it's been very discouraging for him over the years. So 
it, adding something that is a neuroprotectant and can balance the central nervous system, those like lion's mane can do, and we'll talk about that in a different video. Um, I'm also going to add uh, some turkey tail to it. I wanna do like a mushroom, medicinal mushroom blend for him and see how those work for him. Um, it's something that we're very hopeful with. So I will keep you guys posted and let you know how this whole process goes. I'm very excited to start incorporating medicinal mushrooms into our apothecary. This is not something that we will have in the farm store. We are not to that point where we are gonna be selling um, mushroom preparations. This is something that I'm totally, totally new to and I'm experimenting on our family first. <laughs> That's what we do. We experiment ourselves, we learn the things, we experiment with ourselves, see how they go. And I will not sell anything to the public until I feel that I am totally qualified and confident to do so. So this is a fun, nice little, you know, science experiment too. If you if you like that kind of thing, uh, definitely again, check out that wild turkey tail harvesting identification video so that you could do this yourself. Uh, if you are interested in that, the links are down below. If you wanna learn more about this, I also have some blog posts coming. You can click down below and that will take you to the website and you can check out all sorts of fun things over there. So if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you like us and you wanna see more of us. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit that button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date and you can see what happens with this and how this works for us. I'm excited for it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.